drilling as the Trump administration postpones its plan to open up more than 90 percent of America's coastline to oil and gas exploration. That after a recent ruling by a district court in Alaska. Our Washington Bureau reporter Samantha Joe Rock is tracking the story. I don't think this was a decision that anybody was really expecting because uh, every indication we got was that this was going to go forward. A plan to expand offshore drilling in virtually all federal waters is now on hold after a federal judge ruled last month that the president exceeded his authority with an executive order to open the Arctic and parts of the Atlantic to broader oil and gas exploration. This isn't a partisan issue. It should not be a partisan issue. This is an issue of keeping our beaches clean. This is an issue of keeping our oceans clean. As the legal process plays out, the Interior Department says they're looking at all of their options to boost oil and gas development across the country. That plan has drawn fierce bipartisan opposition from members of the Florida delegation. As a moratorium that prohibits offshore drilling from most of the state's coastline is set to expire in 2022. This is a huge deal, a huge win for the state of Florida. Environmentalists like Bob Keefe says there are other ways to develop energy resources beyond drilling. Offshore wind is really taking off. It's driving economic growth, it's attracting investments, and it's doing it without the risk of an oil spill. The oil industry is expressing optimism the case may be resolved quickly, something environmentalists acknowledge could be possible if the administration wins an appeal in higher court. I think it's important now for Floridians and others to keep the pressure on the Trump administration to make this a permanent uh, decision.